Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. From the war between Armenia and Azerbaijan to the ongoing Russia Ukraine conflict, the Bayraktar TB2 tactical UAV has been quite in news. Currently, 257 Bayraktar platforms are in service with Turkey, Qatar, Ukraine and Azerbaijan. The UAV has been developed by Turkish firm Biker Technologies. Biker TB2 is a medium altitude, long endurance, male, tactical unmanned aerial vehicle capable of conducting intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, as well as armed attack. The UAV has an operational altitude of nearly 18,000 feet and maximum flight altitude of 25,000 feet with endurance of maximum 27 hours. It features fully automatic flight control and three redundant autopilot system, fully automatic landing and takeoff feature without dependence on the ground systems, navigation with internal sensor, fusion without dependency on GPS. The Bayraktar TB2 holds the record in Turkish aviation history for endurance with 27 hours and 3 minutes and for altitude with 25,000 feet. It has speed between 70 knots to 120 knots. The UAV has a payload capacity of 150 kilograms and can carry four laser-guided smart ammunition. It can also carry ISR payloads such as switchable EOIR LD or uh, multi-purpose AASA radars. The Bayraktar TB2 has also been extensively used during Russia-Ukraine war and became a symbol of Ukrainian resistance against Russia. The Ukrainian Defense Minister has also revealed in late June 2022 that Ukraine has received 50 UAVs from Baikar since Russia's February 24th invasion. The Turkish-made Baikar TB2 drone was even seen during rehearsal of a military parade for Independence Day in Ukraine in August 2021. In early days of Russia-Ukraine war, the Ukrainian military officer has also said that two TB2s neutralized nearly $26.5 million of assets in Russian military in just three days of operation. By late June 2022, Ukraine had lost a lot of TB2 UAVs, which was evident by many photos and videos published by pro-Russian and Russian government accounts on social media. The initial tactical success of UAV soon started to fall apart in the contested airspace. Once a celebrated UAV has completely been out of action, so what has changed? On 10th April 2023, the Russian media outlet TASS has reported that more than 100 Bag 30 b 2 drones supplied to Ukraine has been destroyed during this special operation. After Russia effectively deployed its electronic warfare and layered air defense systems, the TB2 drones started to lose its effectiveness in the operations. The electronic warfare deployment by Russia has capabilities to disable and jam most of the GPS signals and highly encrypted radio frequencies which is required for the operation of UAVs. Russia has deployed various early warning radars which are used to determine the UAV's location. Their transmission is interfered with and jammed using electronic warfare weapons. Moscow has also deployed a variety of hard kill measures such as machine guns and air defense system like TOR and Panzer missile system to shoot down UAVs. The Russian Panzer is reported to be one of the reasons of reluctance of US defense officials to send the costly MQ-1C Grey Eagle drones to Ukraine. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.